Working in the trades was something that always appealed to me. I tried welding, I took a welding class, commercial fish in Alaska for three seasons. And then the off season, I would be doing boat work, sanding, grinding, painting, but still never thought about building boats. <laughs> but my whole life, I've wanted to be a woodworker. It was a crazy time in life. I'd started having panic attacks and kind of realizing that I'd been living with depression for probably 25 years. I just kind of decided I had to jump in to something. So I went, took a tour, and I just fell in love. It was just so alive. Everyone's working with their hands and their minds. Probably one of the better decisions of my life. School gave me purpose, because depression, there's no purpose. And there were days where I didn't want to get up, but I did. One quote I really like is, happiness comes from solving problems. And boat building is problem solving. And so for me, it was a really good way to learn how to use the tools in a safe environment. And so how much confidence I built over that time was transformational. Like, okay, maybe I can do this. <laughs> In the world of all the wooden boat stuff in Port Townsend and around the country, the school had been chosen to represent the states in the Australian Wooden Boat Festival. The idea was to send a group down to build kind of a classic American boat. It was just magical, but it wasn't easy. The more detail work was new to me, and so I had a lot of internal battles. Um, but that's that's good, that's how you grow. <laughs> I just couldn't have asked for a better team. I mean, it just was a really awesome experience. Now I feel confident enough to get out and start finding apprenticeships and finding my niche. It's not a dream anymore. <laughs>